There is a secret that most pro athletes, elite CEOs, and high performers all know. They all have a group of world-class coaches working for them to help them optimize their potential. At Super Athlete Radio, our goal is to provide you with the caliber of world-class coaches and guests to help you unlock your potential, dominate your industry, and dominate your life. Let's get better today. Welcome to Super Athlete Radio. Very happy to be here, where today we are going to talk about how you can improve your focus fast. This is such a under-prioritized skill slash attribute in society today, whether we're competing in sports, whether it's our business, our ability to focus is a huge separator. And it's not only a huge separator, it's a huge determinant of the quality of our work and what we're dealing with now in terms of our mind and our ability to focus is a evolutionary mismatch. I don't know if you're familiar with that term, but it's commonly used with food, like being able to go into the fridge and being able to eat 5,000 calories anytime we want, any time of the day, that's an evolutionary mismatch. Living in a temperature controlled environment with air conditioning and or heat and having that at our will, that's an evolutionary mismatch because both those things we are, if you look at human history for 99% of it, we were unable to be able to just go into the fridge and get 5,000 calories worth of food. We weren't able to have the temperature of where we lived be dictated by a flip of the switch. But now if you look at what our brain is exposed to, in terms of how many times we're touching a cell phone today, how many different tasks are being thrown at us, th- thrown at us, how many different companies and news organizations are running ads trying to catch our attention. It's in the thousands. And it is a complete evolutionary mismatch because we get exposed now to more inputs or stimuli in like a week than we had been exposed to in the entire lifetime a couple thousand years ago. And because it's an evolutionary mismatch, there really needs to be some systems and routines and protocols that you need to put into place, I need to put into place to improve our focus or uh, we're gonna be in trouble. So if you look at things like intermittent fasting, right? Why do people intermittent fast? Because from an evolutionary perspective, human beings for a a uh, short amount of time, uh, we're able to survive and if not thrive without food, right? Body would go into ketosis and it would enhance cognitive function, um, you know, burn body fat, things like that. So that's one of the reasons people do intermittent fasting now is to close that evolutionary mismatch. We've been able to go into the fridge and eat whenever we want. Cold, uh, cold plunge, saunas. These things are trending now um, very much as they should because the science is unequivocal in terms of the health benefits that cold sauna and uh, saunas have on our bodies and our cells and our health and on our longevity. And why why are people doing that? Why is the body so receptive toward that? Again, it's it's a closure of this evolutionary mismatch because our body is used to being in extreme temperatures for a short period of time. So the goal of the episode today of Super Athlete Radio is to get you to close the gap on this evolutionary mismatch in your ability to focus. And I'm a huge believer in a holistic approach. Uh, every single one of our clients that go through our programs, that's one of the things that they most commonly compliment us on. And this is no different here. You know, the better you sleep, the better you're going to be able to focus. The more you take care of your body in terms of hydration, nutrition, the better you're going to be able to focus. Uh, The more you know what, uh, you you know, you've got a blood work done and you know what efficiencies your body has and you're closing those deficiencies, the better you're going to be able to focus. And in return, the better that you're able to focus, the better that you do focus, then the more energy you're going to have the better your mood's going to be. I know from personal experience how I feel at the end of the day, one of the things that determines that is 
how well I focused that day, how well I focused on the specific task at hand. So how we're going to do this today is instead of, you know, a lot of health and performance podcasts and shows out there, they do an amazing job of talking about like supplements and nootropics and things like that for focus. I look at those like as like icing on the cake, like they're helpful, but if you don't get these big things right, then the icing on the cake is not going to help you. So maybe in the future, we'll do a, a different episode on, you know, adaptogens like Bacopa and uh, Shisandra that help with uh, focus and, you know, uh, modafinil and the different aniracetams and uh, the different mushrooms. But today we're going to focus on the big things, because if you get these big things right, then I think that it's going to be really powerful in terms of setting you up to be able to then dig into the small things. There's a great quote by the Buddha in his book written called the Dhammapada that says, more than those who hate you, more than all your enemies, an undisciplined mind does greater harm. How disciplined is your mind? And what are you doing to develop that disciplined mind? Because if we want to go from good to great, if we want to go from above average to world class, then our ability to relentlessly focus on the task at hand is something that needs to be cultivated and it needs to be built day in and day out. So we're going to start here with the first one, which is a from it comes from Mihai Cheek sent me high. This is a former researcher who founded the concept of flow. And what he talked about was uh, our ability to put our attention where we want, when we want, for how long we want, determines the quality of our life. And a couple of the things that I'm going to be referencing in the show today, holding up if you guys are watching on video, come from a book from one of my mentors, Tim Grover, who was a coach to strength and conditioning coach to Michael Jordan, Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, among countless others. And he has some great stories in there in terms of Kobe's ability to just focus on singularly at the task in hand and to be relentless in terms of focusing on that task. How often can you hold that task and hold your attention and hold your ability to focus where you want, when you want, for how long you want. Because your ability to do that is going to lead to big, big, big things in terms of benefits to you. All right, a couple of tactics in terms of like day-to-day -day rituals and routines. We're going to talk about deep work and we're going to talk about ultradian rhythms. Uh, a couple, this concept of deep work really became renowned in the business community uh, from Peter Drucker probably the most recognized business management writer in history wrote like 25 to, I don't know how many books he wrote, 25, 30 bu books. And a big thing of his was that leaders have the ability, CEOs, executives, high level people in business have the ability to say no, and they have the ability to focus huge quantities of time on specific projects and without getting interrupted for other projects. And then also Cal Newport, who is a professor at Georgetown University, also he wrote a book called Deep Work. And the whole premise of that is our professional work life, this can be the same for training too. I mean, I would approach this the same way in terms of your sport and your training, should not be uh, checking social media and emails and stuff should not be the majority of what we're doing. That should be just a very, very small fraction of what our day consists of in terms of our development. If we want to become elite, if we want to develop a elite brain, if we want to develop an elite body. And how we do that is by focusing on big time blocks where we're only focusing on one thing. Gary Keller wrote a great book called The One Thing where he was talking about this uh, similar thing. He had something called a success list. Tim Grover has something called a done list. It's not a to-do list. It's either you have a success list, what you've done, 
uh, and or in Grover's words, a get it done list. So what this could look like in your day would be in a day that's here to help you optimize your focus, which is in turn going to improve the quality of your work and also going to help your energy and your mood is, you know, wake up, do your morning routine. The more routines you have, then the easier it is to fall into focus, especially when you have kind of a, a pre-game ritual, pre-setup ritual. And then you do your first 90 minutes deep work time block where you're focusing on one thing. The reason it's 90 minutes is the ultradian rhythm piece that I wanted to speak with you guys about. So you know about the circadian rhythm, about how our body clock is responding moment to moment with what's going on with the sun. And that's for men, you know, 24 hour clock for women, I think it's slightly longer. And then there's something that's a much smaller time frame, and that is a ultradian rhythm. And the ultradian rhythm is 90 minutes. So what science has shown in terms of our ability to focus intensely is we have a tough time doing that beyond 90 minutes. So in this prime time day that hopefully we're doing three, four, five days a week where focus is getting emphasized and quality of work is getting emphasized, we're waking up, we're doing a morning routine. That morning routine and ritual is wiring our mind and body to perform in this deep work session. We're doing that for 90 minutes. And then we're taking like a 10 to 12 minute break. Ideally, we're doing some kind of physical activity and or getting outside some kind of movement. What this is going to do is it's going to put your body in a peak physical state and it's going to set you up for a deep work time block number two. And a couple episodes ago on Super Athlete Radio, a couple episodes of our solo uh, radio show, uh, we did a episode where we talked about Anders Ericsson, former Florida State researcher who, you know, kind of well, with the help of Malcolm Gladwell, kind of brought into the forefront of culture this idea of the 10,000 hour rule and what creates expert performers. And one of the other things that Erickson found out in his research is that we can't do really high intense practice training focused work for more than like four and a half hours a day. Or we can, but it, things start to slip. So these first four and a half hours are by far the most important. Again, if what we're doing here is in terms of our skill development, what we want to produce with our work, our training, it's developed to optimizing focus, then we want to make sure these first three blocks are uh, developed into prime time real estate during the day for us to really dig in and get productive and get stuff done. According to Erickson, after four and a half hours, you know, that's when uh, the, the brain's lost its prime time energy. Now, of course, we can continue working. It's just there's, there's going to be diminishing returns. So we do our second time block. Again, we have a break. And then we... Again, I highly recommend you to you do something physical. You're not uh, hopping on email. You're not checking your phone. We get, again, going back to this idea of an evolutionary mismatch. And people are fasting now because that's what was done for 99% of human history. And it, the body responds very well to it. People are doing saunas and cold plunge now because for 99% of human history, we were exposed to extreme environments for a short period of time. So now in this 24 seven, 365 cliche, I mean, people just say that like it, it, it doesn't mean anything. Now. That's just the world we live in. Uh, how are we ruthlessly closing that evolutionary mismatch to be able to uh, get our brain to operate at a much higher level than where it is now and what our competition is doing? Because the only way we're getting into world-class is by having a really optimized, dialed-in brain. So then we do deep work time session number three. And after that, you, know, you have a little bit of slack to the day in terms of you, know, you do teamwork, you do admin work, you, you know, do activities with your family, with your friends. 
But a couple other things I want to talk about here before we wrap up this uh, episode on Super Athlete Radio is I already mentioned him, but Tim Grover is one of my mentors. And in his book, Winning, he talks he talks about focus a lot. And there's a couple big things that he talks about in there that I thought were super valuable. Uh, the first one is he talks about the id gaff muscle, the I don't give a fuck muscle. Our ability to be able to say, I don't give a fuck to what other people's wants, needs, and desires, and or what they expect from us, and to be able to uh, stretch that and utilize that muscle, and in turn, it produces great successful results that benefits all of those around us. So in terms of developing focus, that muscle needs to be utilized. I don't give a fuck what text messages come in. I don't give a fuck uh, what emails come in. I don't give a fuck what, whatever other calls that I'm getting today because my focus is on the task at hand. And then once that task gets done, when I say it's done, then I'll be able to be fully invested and fully in present for those calls, for that time, for those emails, for those texts. We got to stay present. And again, that's what this episode is about is I want you to walk away from this episode. How can I be more ruthless with what I'm exposing my brain to, to close this evolutionary mismatch so I can raise my cognitive level, raise my productivity. You know, a great equation to look at productivity is time spent multiplied by level of focus multiplied by how much energy you're bringing to the task. And again, the energy and the the focus are symbiotic. The more energy you have, then the easier it is to focus, the more you're focusing on something, then the more the body is going to respond energetically because the brain is not going to be wasting energy going in all kinds of different directions. So Grover talks about the power of the idgaf muscle. He also talks about, talks about that done list. Distractions can be fatal to your goals if you don't manage them. Notice I said manage, not eliminate. I know you've been told a thousand times to eliminate distractions. Not possible. You might be able to erase some, but people are still going to need you. There will still be tasks and chores to do. The phone and the TV and the refrigerator are still going to be there taunting you. Let me use the example, you know, the TV and the refrigerator if you're working as a way of procrastinating. Go grab some out of the fridge. Go turn on the TV. And if these things are so distraction, so distracting, Even when they've created an issue, they'll be even more distracting when you try to eliminate them. If you want to manage distractions and get control of that battle, you need to put some routines in place. And this is why we are such huge believers here at Super Athlete of installing rituals and routines and applying them to your life. We're huge believers in bookending your days, first hour of your day, last hour of the day. These two hours, uh, you have the most control over, right? So what are you doing in those or the majority of people have the most control over? How are you taking advantage of that? What are you doing leading up to your most important work task? Something I talk about with my sons all the time in basketball. What are you saying to yourself? What are you doing immediately after you perform, after you practice, after you compete? That's just as important. But these rituals and routines, these protocols, and for those in Super Athlete Training Camp and Body Mind Transformation, we work on those and develop those with you. Having those in place is a huge benefit that's going to ramp up your mind to be able to focus and then also be able to completely turn off and decompress at the end of the day so then you can focus again. I'm not talking about sticking with old routines designed to keep you comfortable and safe and get you through the day without rocking the boat because sometimes that boat will need to be rocked hard. If you never rock that boat, how will you know how much it can take? This is not about fighting boredom or dealing with anxiety or avoiding new things. I don't want to see you sleepwalking through your life just getting by. We all know people who are just plodding through another day. They say things like, another day, another dollar. Easy come, easy go. Sun up, sun down. Just glad to be here. Same old, same old. If that's you, and I seriously hope it's not, you need to blow that, up, blow that routine up and replace it with something that engages you mentally and helps you create new challenges and results. 
To me, routines are freedom if you use them correctly. They allow you to take action with certainty and purpose. They remove the variables and speed bumps that slow you down. And most important, they bypass the battlefield decisions. Should I? Should I not? This way, that way, today, tomorrow, how long? Who should I ask? When you have a well-planned routine, these questions have already been answered. You execute and move on. Done. Next. So as we wrap up this episode on focus today, again, I'm looking, I'm not, in terms of you want to make sure you're staying hydrated. This is a holistic approach. So the better you sleep, the more hydrated you are. Taking the sub right supplements, knowing what your mineral deficiencies are, knowing what foods give you energy, know what foods take it away. Those are all valuable. What we're talking about here, but they're like icing on the cake. We did an episode a couple of weeks ago in on Super Athlete Radio where we talked about recovery strategies and how some of them are just kind of like the icing on the cake compared with like the actual cupcake itself. So today we're talking about the big thing, big things, deep work, focusing on one task, 90 minute times. So deep work one, two, ultradian rhythms, right? Doing these deep work time blocks in 90 minute increments. The goal being to be able to put our attention where we want, when we want, for how long we want. And according to man much smarter than me, Mihai Chi sent Mihai, who founded Flow, doing this is going to uh, determine determines the quality of our life. So being able to do that is going to lead to a, a great life, according to a, a very wise man. Deep work, well, trading rhythms, the focus equation, which is time spent, times intensity of focus, times intensity of energy. Doing that is going to determine the quality of the work that we're producing. And then having rituals and routines and also stretching that id gaff muscle. So this is something that I think is super important. And, you know, along with, with muscle, adding muscle, burning body fat, longevity, hormone optimization, mood, energy, Stress management, focus is something that commonly are, is one of the common challenges that we have for people who come into our program, high performers especially, where they're killing it, they're having all these different opportunities, they're having all these different things coming at them, their business is going dramatically, you know, they just won a huge athletic event, and now they're getting all these different opportunities and it's spraying their focus in many directions and it is starting to become an issue. So you got to be ruthless in solving this evolutionary mismatch in terms of how much the brain is exposed to compared to what it was for 99% of human history. I hope you guys found this episode helpful and do me a favor. If you have not yet followed us on YouTube with Super Athlete Radio, please do that. And please leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Because doing that is uh, gives us the ability, number one, it's totally free. So it's a super easy way to support us. And number one, it is the easiest thing that helps us grow so we can get better guests on here to really help support you on your journey to optimizing the mind and body, to go from good to great, to go from above average to world class. Let's get better today.